Hi, and welcome to another edition of This Week in Jewish History. This week marks the passing in 1704 of a lesser known but unfortunately significant villain of Jewish history, Johann Andreas Eisenmenger. Who was Johann Eisenmenger and what made him into such a villain? Eisenmenger was the author of the German work Endectus Judentum, translated later into English as The Traditions of the Jews. Endectus Judentum was an influential two-volume work of libel against the Talmud, compiling statements from all over the Talmud and rabbinic literature that he felt would seem objectionable to non-Jews, particularly statements that he viewed as offensive to Christianity. Attacks against the Talmud unfortunately have a long history, the most famous incident being the accusations made against it by the Jewish apostate Nicholas Donin, which tragically ended in the burning of cartloads of Talmudic works in Paris in the year 1242. For this incident, the Maharam of Rutenberg, one of the great medieval sages, composed an elegy, a kina, titled Sha'ali Srufa Ba'esh, which is still recited as part of the keynote liturgy Antisha Be'av. What was the story of Johann Andreas Eisenmenger? Eisenmenger was born in Mannheim, in the southwest of Germany. He expressed at an early age profound interest in Judaic studies and was sent to England and then to Amsterdam to further his excuse me, to further his studies in Judaism. Part of what he later claimed turned him against the Jews were sermons he heard in Amsterdam by Rabbi David Lida, whom he claimed used his sermons to attack, to attack Christianity. Just to give us some context, on the bottom right of your screens, you can see an old copy of a book written by the same Rabbi David Lida, Rabbi of Amsterdam. Eisenmenger, Eisenmenger returned to Germany and studied Judaic studies in Heidelberg and later in Frankfurt. The whole time he pretended to be interested in converting to Judaism in order to convince people to teach him. In the year 1700, Eisenmenger published his libelous work Endectus Judentum which, as mentioned, contained many arguments against the Talmud and rabbinic liter literature. Fearing the reactions to Eisenmenger's work, the Jews petitioned Emperor Leopold I to ban the book, and he in fact complied, having all existing copies locked up. This, however, did not stop those who wished to distribute the book from doing so, and thousands of copies were secretly printed in Berlin. The book went through a number of printings and translations. Here on your screens you see the latest German edition, which we know of, which was printed in 1893. And so, sadly, Eisenmenger's work was translated into other languages and continued to be another link in the long chain of accusatory works against the Talmud. Thank you for listening, and have a good evening.